All right, here we are, Elite Dangerous Odyssey, what I typically play on. Wait, that was a different color. Oh, that's a different color too. What the? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, it's a different HUD. My GUI UI is a different color in Odyssey. Do I like it? Do I like it? To be honest, burnt orange is one of my favorite colors and I really like it for HUDs, especially sci-fi type HUDs. So. I definitely don't dislike the color that is standard in Elite Dangerous, but it's not my channel colors now, is it? Purple, black, white, those typically are my channel colors, so it does fit a bit better. Is it hard to see? Not in any meaningful way. I might brighten it up, but then again, having it really dark in the cockpit really helps space stand out better. Uh, this is called Bell Purple. It's a theme that you can apply to your ship. I am gonna go ahead and show you how to change your cockpit layouts in Odyssey relatively quickly and easily. Some of you may know ways of changing your cockpit colors by going into the DLL files or some change in the numerical values. And it can change the color in general all across the board and then wash out all the pictures and other things too. But to have true control over the UI and actually pick the different colors for the different aspects of it, I mean, you can pick the brightness of everything, uh, what color your shields are, what color your ship is, what color the UI is, what color this uh, pop-up message was. You can change all that with third-party programs. I generally dislike third-party programs because I'm lazy, but I did the busy work and I'm just going to tell you the quickest way to get to this without having to worry about too much crap. This works for Odyssey. There's a very similar and simpler way to do this for non-Odyssey Horizons, but there's already a million videos on that. Down to Earth Astronomy has a pretty good one. I'm just going to show you what you have to do, the bare minimum to get to here and be Gucci. That means we have to leave the game. This is the program here that I use to mess with my cockpit settings. This third party program is EDHM. EDHM is, I don't know what it stands for. I think it stands for Elite Dangerous HUD Management, but I'm not 100% sure. They've done HUD management for Horizons and all that. Um, and this is their latest UI interface to work with their Odyssey variant of EDHM because it is more complicated than non-Odyssey EDHM. A lot of people came together to work on this kind of stuff um, and I have a lot of respect for that. And and they even have a Discord you can join. Let's get to the brass tacks here. Right up front, I wanna tell you, I can't get this to change in real time in game. When you make a change here, you have to fully exit the game, not just go to the main menu. You have to completely leave the game, make the changes, apply the changes, and then restart the game all over from the app in order to see the changes. At least that's how it is working for me. Another disclaimer, all this is in current production. It's one of those third party programs that is perpetually being worked on and advanced. So it's always considered quote unquote in beta. To be honest, I don't know if it'll ever leave beta. Things like this tend to be perpetually worked on and that's totally fine, but just don't expect it to be completely smooth 24 seven. And you might want to check it for updates periodically. And my final disclaimer, this is not put together by Frontier. It's not endorsed by Frontier, etc. It's all third party up and down. I can't say for certain something they do here might hurt your game or hurt your PC. I just don't know. It didn't hurt me at all. Countless of Elite Dangerous Commanders use things like this, including this specific program without any problems. If you do have problems, you can uninstall it, but just keep in mind, nothing here is official. But that's the nature of PC games, guys. I'm sure you know that. I'll provide these links in the Discord, but the first link I generally go to is github.com psychic egg slash edhm. And here they have everything you might want. If you're not Odyssey, you can scroll down here to Horizons and do the Horizons download link and follow all that. It's a lot simpler and easier to set up for Horizons. Not difficult, and it's very similar to the Odyssey process we're gonna be following anyways. But I'm gonna focus on Odyssey here. Generally, you're gonna download two files. Don't worry about all this stuff right now. I'm just gonna hit go to file. A list of the files here. I'm gonna get the latest Odyssey EDHM file, which is gonna be near the top. Here it is, Odyssey EDHM version 9.2 beta is the current file as the recording of this video. And it's the one I have installed. So you click that, right here you go to download. 2.92 megabytes. You download it, just download it to your desktop, it doesn't matter, get the EDHM Odyssey. Now once you have that, go back and you want another file. Go back twice to the first link area here and scroll down to where you see the EDHM UI. So EDHM UI is created by Blue Mystical. Blue Mystic, one of the two, I don't know which he goes by, but he created a UI that works with the EDHM tool to help you control what color schemes that you want and you pretty much need it. It's frustrating to find where the hell they put the download link here, but when you go down here, you'll see four assets on the latest version. I just went straight to 
the loose files and I downloaded this zip. So now you should have two different zipped files on your desktop. I'll drag them over here. EDHM Odyssey and EDHM UI. Now, now you're basically halfway done. Let's kill this. Now you need to go to your Elite Dangerous directory where you installed the game. You may install it on your C drive or some other drive. I'm gonna go to mine and I'm gonna kind of give you a hint on where you can find yours. So here we are under Steam Library, which in my case is under Installations. I have a different drive for installing certain games like Elite Dangerous. Then you go to Steam Library. I have it as a Steam game. You might not, so you have to know your directory. But if it's Steam, go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Elite Dangerous. Then you go to Products, and this is kind of where it splits between Elite Dangerous Horizons, or the non-Odyssey Elite Dangerous, and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. If you're following the Elite Dangerous Horizons installation, the non-Odyssey one, you go into here, you put the Odyssey EDHM in here, drop it in, extract it and you're pretty much good then you can just load into the game and you can probably use your function keys to cycle through the different colors of the hud but for odyssey it's a little different when you go to the odyssey folder you have to put both the edhm zipped tool and the ui zipped tool into this folder extract them both inside here so all their contents of both of these empty into here and i've already done that we'll scroll down and yep you see there they are Boom and boom. And they're both fully extracted and all their innards are amongst this folder. This is the executable that loads the UI that lets you change colors. You can send it to your desktop if you want to as a shortcut. Or you can just remember your pathway and come here every time you want to launch this executable. I created the shortcut just now, so I'm going to use it. You might get some pop-ups saying, welcome commander so-and-so, what's your face? Now you're not gonna see this right away. It's gonna ask you the pathway for Elite Dangerous Horizons and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I could not continue in this app until I put in both pathways. The pathways are easy. There are these pathways back here under Elite Dangerous Products. This is the full pathway, including the Elite Dangerous 64 that it wants for uh, Horizons. And this is the full pathway, including Elite Dangerous Odyssey 64 that it wants for Odyssey. You have to copy this whole pathway by just clicking inside the field and right click and hit copy. Then you can close that and right click and paste and have the pathways that it wants and then accept and then you're good. And it brings you this screen. If you happen to load Elite Dangerous at this point without even messing with this yet, you're gonna your color scheme is gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be random colors. It's kind of showing off that it's working, right? To change those colors, you come here. First things first, I would update this. Go to main menu, go to update EDHM mod, hit that immediately. I had some problems with this when I didn't have it fully updated. By the way, if you want to install this, there's the option right there. Next, you want to come down here where it says game and you want to select the type of game you're using. In my case, it's Odyssey, so I selected Odyssey. Here we have all the different areas that you can change. You can change the color of your shield in your hollow ship, for example, to whatever colors you want. You click it, it brings up this, shows you what the current brightness is, all the current colors of it all is, and you can change it to pretty much anything. These are literally the settings I have for my uh, shield and hollow ship. All these options just for that, kids. Kind of overwhelming, to be honest. And it's even more overwhelming when you consider the fact that you can't really see what it's gonna look like in game until you boot the game all the way up from start. Then you have to completely close out of the game to make any other change to even look again to see what it looks like again. So that can be quite intimidating. It doesn't quite look like in game the way it looks like here, I've noticed tends to be a lot darker. So err on the side of bright if you're trying to mess with these. But I would suggest using a, I'm clicking here for themes to get this back. I'd suggest starting with a theme. And then once you find a theme that's pretty close to what you want, then micro adjust using this stuff to the side. And you can create your own theme, which should be just an adjustment of one of these themes on the right hand side here. That way you don't have to waste so much time getting what you want. But yeah, you got pretty cool themes here that people have already discovered look pretty nice. Again, I selected this one here, which is Bill purple if there's themes that you really like i would star them to favorite them and i'd also select them and hit save theme up here so make sure it doesn't disappear in an update or something in the future or something like that once you highlight the theme you want hit apply theme up here and then this should pop up saying visual theme applied successfully if it pops up with a warning usually it'll say hey this is not currently an odyssey theme that happened to me for a while but that was corrected when i went up to main menu and i updated edhm mod for some reason, when I updated this, for so, all of these themes were replaced with Odyssey themes, and I didn't have that problem anymore. And that's pretty much it. I saw Bell Purple, I liked it, I applied it, and now you've been caught up to where I am. And it looks like 
that's the default orange that I can go back to if I want to go back to the default orange, which I very well may want to go back to the default orange. Clean slate looks pretty nice though, because it's a much brighter and lighter color scheme. I might just try this really quick. Apply theme. Yeah, apply it successfully. And I'll start Elite Dangerous. If Elite Dangerous was already open when I applied that theme, I would have to exit the game and restart it. But I was already exited out of the game, so I don't have to do that. I can just start it up and hopefully the theme will be applied. As we can see, the colors are already looking different. Oh, that's a good color. I like that color. Yeah, that's my channel theme color, right? Oh, wow. So yeah, so this apply the theme. It is a purple and is a lot brighter. I really like this one. I think I like it more. Oh yes, I really like this one. Those are still brightening up yellow. Uh, the fire symbol down there is still red. I like that. Let's see what uh, this looks like. And that's green? Oh, it's charging up green. That's just a light color. I'd be too light. I might lose it in some bright lines. So the alerts, I might darken. That alert, I might darken it or you know, make, make it more richer in color. So I don't run the risk of losing it in an emergency, I guess. Um, and I don't care for the green on the sides. Really, any other color would be better. Uh, blue, even red, orange. Wait, let me see. Okay. Combat mode switches it to that gradient. A nice gradient from purple to very light purple. I really like that. Huh. I want that same color scheme on my discovery. Well, maybe I do want it as a different color, so I'll be more easily, readily able to tell the difference. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. I love the gradients on the uh, system engine's weapons. So there we have it. I think I'm definitely going to go with a slight alteration of this theme as my uh, main color scheme for a while, especially since I just released the Tetco Kovas pack in my last Elite Dangerous video where you can build your own Tetco Kovas voice cockpit assistant using voice attack. So I'm going to be all kinds of third party program balling in Elite Dangerous here pretty quick, kids gonna be sweet. I love customization. Honestly, I have nothing but respect for the people who make these types of programs, and I would love it if FDev got involved in some small or large way. If I were to make a spaceship game, I would have made this as just part of the game, to be honest. I'm going to provide a link to the main hub of that EDHM site, but I don't think I'm going to provide direct links to those exact files because, again, they're updating those files constantly. So by the time you see this video, they might have new versions, in which case you should get the latest version. Anyways, until next time, cadets. A special thank you to all the patrons that make these videos possible. This month, we have our first ever Geist Admiral, Kyle of White. Thank you, Kyle. You are a legend. And we have our Geist Wing Commanders, Commander HD41117, Commander Irish Love Circle, Glintwine, Valor, Yuri Teraday, and ZZZZTXR. And thank you to our Geist Cadets, Amy Hunter, Danny Taylor, Dreadnought CMV301, Fluffy Bunny1, Hilo Mars, Mog Bish, Royal Gleaves, Trocads, and Travis Warren. And our Geist Recruits, 84 Bandwagon, Blood Butcher, David Lissell, Feldshammer, It's Deer, Joe Osborne, Joshua Meserve Jr., Eric Gonzalez, Paul Calvin, and Slave. Until next time, cadets.